Hello everybody, Joe here. So, um, I know I'm going to do tidying videos and organizing videos and decluttering videos all the while talking about my health and my chronic health issues and just a brief glimpse into kind of how I manage things. Well, I may lose some of you of what I'm about to say, but I feel that it needs to be said. Oh, hello, person who joined. Hello, hello, hello. You're welcome to say hi to me in the chat. But, like I said, I may lose some of you over this, but I need, I need to say this. I need to explain this, and it seems to be every few years that I kind of go on this rant, this tangent, explaining because every few years it seems to just be a really big issue. And that is queer, gay, LGBTQ+, you know, whatever you are on the, in, in the rainbow, um, wherever you are on the spectrum, You know, it's, people have this idea that if, you know, the child is exposed to that stuff, that it's going to turn them gay, turn them queer, turn them into part of the, the LGBTQ plus community. And... Or if they're exposed to certain religions that they're going to become Satanists or Wiccan or Atheist or whatever. And I'm speaking personally from my experience and from what I've seen from other people, but that's just not true. I was raised in a Christian conservative household in a Jesus-believing, Jesus-following household. And, you know, sheltered from a lot of things. In that, being sheltered didn't change the fact that I'm gay. It didn't change the fact that I'm a lesbian. I knew from a very young age that I was different, that I wasn't like everybody else, I wasn't attracted to boys, it didn't interest me, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And so in 2008, I came out as bisexual because, which means you're attracted to men and women. Because I'm like, well, I didn't want to lose my family, I didn't want to lose the people I grew up with so I'm like well I'll just you know I'll date both and some people didn't even tell that I was but I just continued to make them believe that I was straight because you know I was like well maybe if I like a guy enough that that's gonna change you know because what I was told is that you know if you if you're with the right guy that changes and then in 2013 I had enough and I'm like I can't do this anymore no I this is this is made me super depressed this is made me sad I can't be like this anymore and so then I came out as lesbian I'm like I haven't ever been interested in guys and People, there are a lot of people who weren't shocked. And then there were others who were just in denial, didn't believe. But, so if you, you know, with the whole Disney thing going around, you know, all the gay pride stuff everywhere, your child being exposed to that is 
Will you be exposed to that? It's not going to make you gay. It's not going to make your child gay. Um, that's just not how it works. I can't make somebody who's straight gay. Just like you can't, like me being, I can't send somebody gay straight. That's just, that's not how it works. You either, you either gay or you're straight. You know, and I, I use gay loosely, you know, it's input of the LGBTQ plus lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, asexual, you know, gender bending, you know, whatever you want to call it, it's you either are or you aren't, and there's no changing that, um, to... please somebody at, at one point I basically they're like well don't act on it for a year and go with me to church and go with me to Bible study and after that year if you still say you are you know then fine you know we'll just have to agree to disagree you know and just try and basically just try and be okay with it and that's what I did, and I hated it. Basically, it it sucked. It it felt like being back in the closet all over again. And I mean, after the first month, I was like, tell people that I was gay. I just couldn't act on it, and I had to do church and everything, and. It was awful. So, you know, and if you shelter your children, if you shelter them, you know, even as teens and the young adults, when they're exposed to that stuff, they could end up rebelling in a way that's way worse than if they had been exposed and you know when you're disabled it's nice to see other disabled people when you're gay it's nice to see other gay people and it's nice to know that you're not alone you know people don't like to feel alone you can okay with like being alone sometimes but people don't like to feel alone and it's you know and with being disabled, having health issues and stuff, chronic health issues. I've been using a cane for a long time. I've injured myself on the regular and people would try to pray it away. And I'm like, why is me being disabled? Why is me having chronic health issues a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. I mean, does it suck? Yeah. Am I in pain all the time? Yes. But, you know, good or bad, it makes you who you are. And I love the person I am, and I wouldn't change it. Does it make life more difficult? Absolutely. But I wouldn't change it. So, I know I'm talking quietly right now. I hope you can hear me and hear what I'm saying. I will be saving this later for people to watch. But, you know, I'm agnostic. I'm a lesbian. 
and I'm disabled. And, you know, I'm an artist and I'm minimalist and I love games and board games and card games and movies and music and video games and all of it. So I know there's a lot of you know and just know that with making something You know, I don't want us to go back to the 1920s where, you know, things were illegal and you got put in jail for it, you know, it just, or things like, uh, were illegal, but people did it anyway and it just made it way more unsafe because people weren't doing it in a healthy, safe way. So, that's what I wanted to say. So, if, if you choose to shelter your kids, if you choose to keep them from viewing and seeing other religions or seeing drag queens and queer and LGBTQ plus things, you can shield them all you want, but you just know as adults, they're going to choose their own religion and, you know, as adults, if they're anywhere on the LGBTQ plus spectrum, you know, I hope they come out and hope they are able to be themselves. If that is squashed down, if that is, if buried, they can either turn into like the pet, repressed, abusive individuals a lot of the times, or trigger warning, but they can commit suicide, you know? And, you know, when you're in a closet and you're not yourself, you know, a, a lot, even myself in the past, you know? would have suicidal thoughts and I should really put a trick warning in the title but I just want you to know you know just who, who you love isn't a choice you are who you are So, thank you for listening to my little event, and I will still leave my comments on, and I will have this as a video for people to watch later, but, you know, you can have your opinions, I'm just hoping to open some eyes, and drop some knowledge on people from someone who's experienced it and someone who knows. So have a good night everybody and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!